Love these roads. West Virginia roads. <laughs> Cemetery. Here we are. Hmm. Anyone want to go for a swim? And the cemetery's up on the hill there. Believe it or not, a bunch of Albert's relatives are buried up here. Oh, boy. Rough path. Wonder what's inside there. Wow, look at that tree, how it's split. Halfway. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Something about that tree. It'll look safe. No, <laughs> time, <that's it. laughs> Especially with the wind blowing. <laughs> Now this is the oldest cemetery around here. The first settlers of the area are buried in this old cemetery. Not real big. Of course, there weren't that many settlers back then. Oh, there's a new one. Get you more here. And, uh, connect this stuff. It might be this one. Oh. Let's 
show you some of these really old graves. Prickett's Fort is named after the Prickett's who settled here. It was around the 1760s, I believe. This must be a newer relative. John Newton Pickett. Jacob Pickett. Born 1814. Died 1895. 81 years, 6 months, 6 days. Oh, boy. Sarah Prickett. May 18th, 1814 to 1902. Don't want to walk on the graves. Mahalia Jane Prickett. 1835-1915. Now the old graves up here. You can't even read. Pictures. I'm bringing you this way because oh, there's the road right around here. Howard Orton, son of Reverend J.N. and A.J. Holt, 1890-1894. And you can't see it, but it's got a rose on the front. You might be able to make it out. Okay. Richard C, or G, son of S.A. and D.M. Knight, 1908. Okay, I was wrong. I was way wrong. It's been a little while since I've been out here. But I almost walked right by These are pictures. Died in 1897. Seldona and, oh, boy. lighting's bad. I can't quite make it out. lot of these little old gravestones are so hard to read. We haven't gotten to the really old ones yet, though. Let me take a look back over here. Oh, wow. 
find my way down. Pearl Hall. Harriet Jane. I think that's Jane. Yeah. Oh. Boy. Can't quite make that out. August. Huh. This little stone. Doesn't have any writing on it. Mahalia Longhorn Hartley. Ann Holt. Well, that's kind of a pretty one. Amazing, it's still standing. Here's the, the one I wanted to show you. Oh, oh boy. Something's been here visiting. <laughs> mm. Enough of that crap. This is dedicated to Colonel Zachwell Morgan. And he's one very distant grandfather of Albert's. Great, 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 great or so. It goes way back. Born 17, oops, 1735 in Orange County, VA. Died January 1st, 1795 in Monongalia, West Virginia. Just let you all read that. You might want to freeze if you want to read it. Now this is one. Ooh. This one's. Huh? All these in Ginger are here. They died at like 12. Huh? This is the only above ground one they have here. Albert said there's a lot of kids buried over here. Revolutionary soldier Jacob Prickett III, 1756 to 1826, placed 
by this Colonel Morgan Morgan, which is my great 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 grandfather. Uh, Aged eight. Aged eight. Eighty-four. Oh, Eighty-four. I didn't see the four. Okay. Eighty-four years old. So he was older. Yeah. This meter isn't going much of anything. No. Not yet. But I, the EVP thing is kind of going crazy. Huh. You want to try to talk to some of them? Miss Sarah. Elizabeth. Okay. How do you want to do this? There's a baby. Here. Yeah, it's a lamb. Infant on it. Son of H. S. Merrill died October second, eighteen sixty nine. Wow. A and M. Morgan. All of these Morgans are related to Albert. Spirits here who would like to speak to us today. You can talk to us through this device I'm carrying and you can show that you're present. The other device. Is it on? Yes, it is. Oh, you're, you're going by that. I thought you doing the spirit box. Is there anything you'd like to speak to us? Speak through this box. Ooh. Can't do that. No. I want to go to real quick. Is there anybody here or any spirits that'd like to talk to us? Yeah. Definitely. What is your name? like to talk to you for a minute. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? <laughs> My name's Albert. I'm related to you all. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? How did you die? What is heaven like? Are you in heaven?
I'm related to you through my grandfather, Albert Courtney. How did you die? I'm going to try documenting most of these tombstones. I'm going to start at the back. Joel Farmer. 1760-1819. Just the ones I can read and pick up on. Boy, there's a lot of graves out here. Ain't a whole lot left to most of them. There's a James Morris Born September 28th, 1880. Died June 15th, 1889. Boy, he wasn't very old. Bert Bertha L. Morris. July 5th, 1875. Died September 22nd, 1892. There's another Morris. I'm going to stop this now and try to set this up. What is your name? Do you have any concept of time? No. How did you die? Can you tell us what life was like? You seem to be eager to talk to us.
What is your name? Maxwell? Yeah, that's the Are you evil? Do other people come here to try to get in contact with you? Do you mind that we try to contact you? Sure. What year did you die? How did you die? You seem to be real eager to talk to us. Do you know my name? Maybe Still that wasn't good, man. Well, we're going to let you go now. Okay. Rest Thank in you. peace. Thanks for talking with us. Turn it off. That sounds like it's a danger almost. Or anger. Yeah. Thank you. When? Uh, Marjorie? Must have been yeah. stillborn. Margaret Davis Holmes. Oh. They and the Davis twins. And the Davis twins. That must be two little babies. 1918 to 
Whose idea was it that you come here? A psychiatrist. What is it you're trying to do with your life? Play the piano for people. <laughs> 